My name is Dave Jonasson, and I'm a volunteer at Icelandic Roots. This is the first in a series of tutorials uh, for new members, primarily. And the idea is to give you enough information and enough uh, functionality that you can be productive early on and enjoy the site. And that's not saying that existing members won't get something from this, uh, because every time I see this information, I know I learn something. Um, but it's really not intended to be uh, comprehensive, uh, every single uh, option on the menu. It's, uh, it's enough to get you, get you going. Now, I have a little bit of logistics before I start. Um, this might be more of the screen that you're looking at now. And this is the Vimeo screen where we've got the tutorial. And if you can find this little icon off to the bottom, it's got little four little arrows pointing to the four corners and click on that. Uh, that'll put you in full screen mode. And in full screen mode, you're gonna get a whole lot more from this because uh, you'll be able to see the screen um, much more carefully. And I'll be uh, talking about uh, menu options and, and uh, the like. So anyway, um, let us start. Um, this is our public uh, website. You may have seen this, icelandicroots.com. And this is probably how you started and started the registration process to become a member of the database. Uh, but how do you get to the database? Well, the easiest way is off on the top here of every page, there's a go to the database. So if you click that, that's gonna take you to what we call the landing page. Now you may have seen this as part of the registration process because uh, they may have sent you a URL and uh, you clicked on that, um, or you decided to bookmark it. Well, it really doesn't matter because any of the three ways are gonna get you to the same page. Um, the thing to notice now is that on the left side, we have a, a banner uh, in blue. And uh, the first time you come in, uh, you will see this orange login button. So if I click on that, I get a login screen. And I now can fill in the username and password. Uh, and those are the usernames and passwords that you chose when you did the registration process. So I am going to enter my username. and Password. Now there is a little uh, checkbox here, stay on uh, the computer for 14 days. Uh, purpose for that uh, is so that I don't have to go through the logon process uh, every time um, I log on. Now, if you're at a library, you probably don't want to specify this, but if you're at home, um, that's probably something you always want to do. And I'm now going to click login and this login button has disappeared and uh, replacing that is a welcome banner that says, yes, it knows who I am. If I do want to log out, there's my log out menu item uh, in orange at the bottom of the screen. And that's as easy as it is. It's pretty standard. That's how you know, many people, um, uh, that's how much, much of the software works. So I wanna back up here and show you a couple of things. Um, I am gonna go back to my login screen and if, you do forget your username or your password, there is some option down here uh, to email that to you. Now, it's a little bit confusing. Uh, if you read the text very carefully, it makes sense, but uh, uh, it's not intuitive to me all the time. Uh, if you don't know your username, then you can fill in the email that you specified when you registered. You can fill in the email here and hit this go button and your username will be emailed to you. Uh, if you know your username but don't know your password, then you have to enter both the email and the username and then hit this go button here. It actually says that in the text, but to me that's a little bit confusing. Um, so anyway, that's basically how that works. Um, now there is one more thing that I wanted to talk about um, in this session. Let's just log back in. And that is, how do you get to the next tutorial? Well, depending on how you got here, that may not be a big deal. But from this landing page, uh, up here it says members, uh, learn how to use the site, click here to check out our tutorials. And if I click here, uh, that will take me to the database tutorials page. And all of our tutorials are here. This is the uh, first one here, logging onto the database. But uh, the next one is gonna be uh, on simple people searches and then um, the, the rest of these. The alternative way to get there is if I go down to this menu bar here under the genealogical resources, uh, there's a menu item called tutorial. So thank you for listening and um, 
hope to see you at the next tutorial.